Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Right, so today we are going to be getting on with creating a bit of a storage area in that little dungeon, that one there. So in today's video, we're going to be going through putting all the joists in, how we're going to go about fitting all the floors, what type of floor we're actually going to be using and why we're doing it this way. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, the link is in the bottom corner. Turn your notifications on and you will get a little message to say that we have made another wonderful production of the Green Oak channel. Right, better get in there. Okay, so this is the actual storage area um, that we're, we're doing. So what Steve's gonna be doing, I'll let him explain, he's just in there in a second, um, but we're gonna insulate this bit and might all need, the top um, and then behind and then yeah that's Steve's timber. gonna actually give you a bit more details but i might need the chisels just to here a lot. he's just loitering just get my um, coming through yeah get my older chisels See? i think so this yeah. is the other area that it obviously all comes through into here so stevie what is your plan mate well, <laughs> well, here we, here we yeah. are. Um, we're going to put some joists in here. It's a little bit of a Mixed fun one. Bag in <laughs> so this is timber here. So we're just going to uh, try and plant that seven by two on there, um, and then run joists back, and then bolt them onto those existing onto these. Yeah, these ones like those existing joists there. Okay. And then we're going to fill it with insulation and put some chipboard flooring on top. Are you using joist hangers on there? Yeah, there'll be joist hangers on there. Anywhere where, where the timber's not supported, need to have joist hangers. How do you fix them? How do I fix what? Joist hangers. I use uh, Sheridized twist nails. Ooh, Sheridized, <laughs> check you out. Yeah. <laughs> so the reason why, I, obviously I know how you use what you do on those, but for those do you? Do you? Oh, I don't like the <laughs> trying to act all clever yeah, now. I know what I'm camera. doing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the reason why obviously I'm asking more questions to try and give more details and all the rest of it. So there is some weird. So what are those like hex, like Jesus bolts? Are they on there? Yeah, they're pretty meaty things. So, so you haven't to sort of like uh, notch round, notch those. round all those. So and I haven't got a bit big enough really for getting round those. Oh, okay. So you have to chisel it, is it? Uh, so, sounds fun. So. What we're going to do is oh, come through back here. Um, but yeah, so that's the, the idea is we're going to get on with this bit. Now, it is literally just a storage area. It's not going to be a habitable room at all. That's what it's going to be for. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to set you up on time lapse to try and get you guys, so obviously Steve can show you fixing things as we go in. You can see me in this light, it's probably not the best. Um, so we've what we've done so far, I'll try and try and keep some sort of light somewhere, is we've put this seven by two. At the minute I've just nailed it onto that existing timber. Um, when we finish, then we'll we'll put some put some uh, like screw timber screw bolts through. Um, 
they, I, I tend to not do those at first just because uh, they usually end up in the way of where the, where the joists are going to go. So we just stick a load of 90 mil PAS loads in and then we'll do, fix those after. So they're out the way. Um, then we've cut these and again we've just temporarily nailed those with the PAS load gun and then afterwards we'll get the jiffy hangers on. Um, and on these bits here, what I've ended up doing, which is not really the best way in terms of joists, is I've notched the joist over this purling. But um, we've done it on this just because this floor is, is pretty much like a storage area. It's almost like an attic space type of thing. So... Um, Oh, look at him. Only the best. Calvin Klein. Just to say we are not sponsored by Calvin Klein. There, there are other pants available. Um, and they, uh, yeah, where was I? I've really lost my train of thought now. Um, yeah, so what I've done is not strain these. Ideally, that's not the way you would do it. If we were doing this as a loft conversion, something like that, then really we'd be, well, in fairness, all that ceiling will probably come down when we're doing a loft conversion and we'll be getting, getting rid of it um, and doing it a different way. Because it's just a storage area, we're going to not train it so we don't get involved in any of that ceiling breaking is basically the, the issue. Because uh, we've already had one little, little incident, haven't we, Shawnee? No. Where we were a little bit nervous. My but, balance is not what it used to be. But everything's all right. So as you can see, it's just mucky down there. There's no ceilings falling through or Not anything. Yet, anyway. Not yet. <laughs> so we're nearly out, nearly out of this area. Um, so and then on this this end, again, what we've done here, I've just notched it so it goes underneath. We temporarily fix it with the pad load nails, and then I'm probably just showing you my ear then. Uh, and then um, I'll just show you a little bit of a close up there on those. And then what we'll do then is we'll drill right through and uh, bolt those onto there so there's no movement. And then once we get all those bits sorted, we can have a look at insulating it and the floor. But I'll, uh, I'll stick you back on time lapse. We've got a fair bit more to mess about with yet, like these little funny angled areas here that we need to get sorted. So I'll stick you on time lapse and, uh, and you can see, see a little bit more. Today's video is sponsored by Tradeify. For those of you who don't know what Tradeify is, it is a job management software. So we use Tradeify to run the company um, from day to day stuff. So know exactly what jobs we're going to be at and where we're going to be at. Um, also, we run all your quotations, things like that. And obviously by using Tradeify, it actually gives me so many more hours back than what I had before when I was using previous stuff. Um, so if you wanna give that a try, there's a 14 day free trial, will be in the link in the description below. And then if you like it, use the promo code GHAWK50 and you'll get 50% off for the first three months. Right, let's get back to stuck into the video.
So we've got all the hangers on. I think Mike's been filming a few little, little clips for you. Um, all the twist nails are in. You need to make sure you use twist nails for the hangers. It's just so they stay in, basically. They don't work themselves out. Um, we've also put some, some bolts through into the, uh, well, there's actually a timber in that wall there on this side. And we've also bolted all these timbers down the bottom. Um, and so we're ready to insulate it now. So here's our, here's our main man. Yes. Look, watch that. That's how to do it. See, where's your mask? He's allergic to masks. Allergic to masks, see. So he doesn't have to wear them, he's exempt. <laughs> we'll get all these rolled out anyway, and then we'll start getting the floor in there. Right, we've insulated all the floor. Um, so we've started doing the flooring. We usually leave a bit bigger an expansion gap around here, but because he wants it as storage, we keep it a little bit tight, just so that uh, he's not losing anything down the sides. Um, we're nailing them using the uh, 50 mil pads load nails with the ring shank, so they won't pull away. I think there's an earlier video of Mike. There, little, there, is, uh, there is a little cheeky video, little, isn't it? Steve, yeah, yeah, I did notice. I did notice. And uh, yeah, we're using 22 mil chipboard flooring, so that's the same you get in your house, that, that grade. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to obviously stagger all the joints. Um, is there anything else? No. no we're just going to get on with it. it. The yeah. day's pushing on. Yeah, we haven't got much time left, so we want to try and get all this floor boarded. So we're going to get on with it. Mind your way. So, we're going to have a little telling off for Mr. Sean Orr. Here. Nope. He's running, he's running. Look at him. Take it like a man, mate. Come on. So, if you come a little bit closer, I've got right away, then. this board touching that end. And we've also got it touching this end. We've got a little bit of a gap here. And that's because somebody, when they did this second board, didn't put a straight edge across there to make sure it was all in line. Did they? No. It's very no, naughty. I'm um, used to brick lines, not um, straight edges. <laughs> Come on, move out of the way. Very naughty. He's getting frustrated now. And it's all on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that is us for today. Um, as you've seen, I've got the floor partially down. The reason why we've stopped where we have now because Steve wants to, we're going to obviously the other side of that room, we're going to be carrying on some floor because run all the way through. Um, so then we're going to be looking at tomorrow's getting on with some of the insulating in here. So we're going to get all these all insulated and stuff like that. But obviously for now, that is where we're at. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, if you, like I say, if you are new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, I think the link is in that corner, I believe. Um, make sure you turn your notifications on and yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care guys.